Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge Day. I think we're on day 32. Let me confirm that, right? Day 32. That is correct. So today I'm going to show you how to add a contact to a smart plan, how to remove a contact from a smart plan, and then we're going to talk about a really exciting new feature called the stagger. So we'll get into that in just a second. So in your contacts, when you click on contacts and you're in an actual contact record, uh, the way to add one one single contact to a smart plan would be to come into that contact record, click on the smart plan tab here, and you can see this person has already been added to the birthday smart plan, the monthly neighborhood nurture, and the quarterly call plan. If I wanted to add them to an additional smart plan, I could click on add to smart plan, and I would scroll down and see, okay, these are the ones that I already have in my smart plans. If there were some additional ones that I wanted to add them to, I could come over and look at the smart plan library and add them to one of those. So let's just say for kicks and giggles, I wanted to add them to the open house follow-up plan. I would click on select. It's going to tell me it's a seven touch 15 step plan that lasts for 20 days. And I can see that I'm going to click on confirm. And now you can see the open house smart plan has been added to the double A seller as a contact. If I come in and I say, hey, you know what? Uh, whoops, I meant to add triple A seller and not double A seller to the open house contact or smart plan, excuse me. I can just come over to this trash can and unsubscribe. And that's going to remove this person from that smart plan. Always important and wise to do if somebody sends you an email saying, please quit emailing me. Obviously, you would want to pull up their contact record and remove them from any smart plans that contained emails as well. So that's how you add one person to a smart plan and how to remove them as well. If we come into the smart plan submenu, we do have the ability to click on a specific smart plan. So let's just say um, I'm going to go to the library. I'm going to add quarterly call plan to my smart plans and I'm going to click on apply. So now it changes it from quarterly call plan to my quarterly call plan. And you can see that's now down here. So if I wanted to add people in my database to the quarterly call plan, I could do it by clicking on this plus sign, right? So here's that plus sign right here. Let me go back and show you. I did it a little quick. So add contact and I can click on odd contact. I can search by name. I can also search by tags. So if I wanted to say, all right, I want to call, um, I've done DT, D2, DT, D2 tags, right, um, in my database. So I could click on tags. I could say this week, I want to call all of my A&Ws, right? Um, it's going to show 133 contacts possible. So I'm going to click select all. It's only going to give me the first 20. So it does take a little bit of time, but remember the quarterly call plan is repetitive. So once I set this up, I'll be set up for a long time. Um, now I could add all of these people to a smart plan. So here's 20 people, right? I'm gonna click on add to smart plan. And yet now I have options, right? So I have, I can start all 20 of them today. However, if I do that, what's gonna happen, right? I'm gonna have 20 tasks to call people today. And then 90 days from now, I'm gonna have 20 tasks to call people. And yet in between, I'm not gonna have any tasks. So I now have the ability to start these on the following date. So I could put today, I want 20 to start to tomorrow, right? I could say start this first 20 today, right? And I would click on confirm. And then I would go to the next 20 and I could say, I want to select all, I want to add to smart plan. Uh, I cannot add more than 25 at one time. It's supposed to only show me 21 through 40. So that's an interesting mix. Oh, it still has all of these people selected. So let's see, how would I go? Let's click on cancel. And now I can go in, add contacts. Let me get to the second 20, select all. It gives me that 20. And I could say add to smart plan. I want those guys to start tomorrow, right? Now that would be a pretty manual process. However, I do have the option to now do a stagger over the next few days. So I have 20 people. In this case, we were talking about the DT D2 tags, which is a seven day kind of setup. If I have 20 people and I want to stagger it over seven days, then I could say, hey, just add three people per day. 
you'll see staggering allows you to distribute to distribute when the smart plan starts for a large group of people you can choose to start the smart plan for x amount of people per business day until they're all added example if you add 11 contacts to a smart plan and stagger four per day then the smart plan would activate four today four tomorrow and three on the third day so if i'm doing 20 at a time again for dtd2 that's a weekly thing right so I would put uh, maximum contacts per day three, okay? That way it's gonna set up a notification for me to call these people, right? This is the quarterly call plan with a DTD2 tag added. And now I can click on confirm and it would basically add all of these people to this smart plan staggered over the next seven days, no more than three per day. And I would then click on confirm and now you can see I have 20 people, right, all set up on a quarterly call plan, and it's those first 20 people. So that is one way to go through if you want to do DTD2. If you're not doing DTD2, you could still do the quarterly call plan. You could just come in and say, you know what, I want to make sure that um, anyone tagged with sphere, right? So I want to call my entire sphere. So I would just scroll down. I have a lot of tags. So this may take a little while. And yet let's go down and let's get right so here's sphere i don't know how many people actually have tagged as sphere uh, i've only got seven right so i could say i want to select all seven of these guys um, i want to call them let's add them to the quarterly call plan and let's stagger them since there's only seven and i'm doing it over a quarter let's just say if i did um i don't know seven divided by 90 divided by seven is basically 12. So I could say, hey, I want you to put a maximum, well, it's only gonna do it per day. So I could do one contact per day, it'll add those seven, one per day, and that kind of spreads out my load of calls next time I look at the quarterly call plan. So some cool examples, um, I have had people that have added their entire database to the quarterly call plan at once, and obviously <laughs> it made for quite a mess because they have 100 tasks on one day, then no tasks for 89 days, and then 100 tasks for one day, right? So this is a great way to kind of spread out the staggering of people starting on your smart plan. So if I click on that and click off, now if I wanted to, I could come in, right? As we start getting into the ability to edit smart plans, you're gonna see these options start to check in, and I could also delete that smart plan Warning, this delete action cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to delete it? I'm going to click on yes, delete. And you'll see you cannot delete a smart plan with contacts that are already added. So I could then click on this eye icon and I can see all of the people that got subscribed to that quarterly call plan. Maybe I did that wrong and I don't want any of them on this quarterly call plan. I can click on select all and now I can unsubscribe them all at once. So there's 20 people that I want unsubscribed. I can go back through, is that correct? And I'll say confirm. And now, let me see, let's click on that icon. It says 13, um, and yet it doesn't show any here. So it may be a small glitch. Let's see if we can delete it. If I go to delete, will it allow me to? And it did, so that little 13 was just a little glitch there. So that's a way that you can add one contact via their contact record to a smart plan. You can unsubscribe one contact from a smart plan from their contact record. And then now you've seen how to bulk add, if you will, contacts to a smart plan, either all at once on a future date or staggered a certain number of contacts over the next six, seven, eight days, whatever that may be. So I do believe that that staggering will continue to be built out with additional options and yet really cool tool and powerful as it is right now, a great way to ensure that you are spreading out your tasks and not overwhelming yourself on one particular day. That's today's challenge, guys. Hope you're all having a fantastic eve of Christmas Eve, getting all your shopping done, your wrapping done, etc. And uh, a special wish for my wife on her birthday today. Happy birthday, Nicole. I love you. And I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. As always, I will look forward to speaking with you in the morning. Thanks so much.